Well, the way I got to Nashville is kind of funny. That's good. It's, it, I don't mean the, the desire to come here. I mean the way I actually got here. It was, uh, looking back on it, it still amazes me. You know, I was a big um, Roy Orbison fan. You know, I, I remember seeing him on TV when I was a kid on one of those shows, and he always intrigued me. He wore sunglasses, and he was doing that song, Pretty Woman, and he was, you know. And he was... And he was looking at the camera, and then he, he, he walked back to the end of the stage, and, and his, you know, he's talking about this woman, this mystery woman. Is she going to come back to me? You know, and he'd look over his shoulder, and 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 he just seemed so lonely. But 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 uh, but his voice seemed like it was coming from a another world, you know. Uh, he had the most amazing singing voice, and yeah, and um, uh, so he he was always my favorite singer, you know. N not favorite writer, although yeah. he was an incredible writer, but he was my favorite favorite singer. And uh, back in the you know back in the day, I used to do some of his songs in, in my show, and uh, I was such a big fan of his. And um, uh, my first my first trip, you know, when I was living in New York, my first trip down from New York down to Nashville to sort of explore down here to see if there's maybe a place for me. I came down, and I did a uh, I did a show at a little dive over here called Springwater. And uh, when I finished, this tall German lady walks up to me and she says, she says, my name is Barbara Oberson, I must have the tape. <laughs> and the name went right over my head. It didn't register, because you meet a lot of people, you know, and so I gave her this little cassette. That of course, his wife. And uh, <laughs> so anyway, I went back to New York and I was sitting on the couch one Sunday afternoon. I'll never forget this as long as I live, because, I mean, I was sitting there and I was basically feeling sorry for myself because I didn't have enough money to get to Nashville. I wanted to be here so bad, but I was stuck in New York, and I didn't have a pot to piss in, and I had no way of getting back down here. And the phone rang, and it was that German lady again. And she said, uh, she said, Will, there's somebody here who wants to talk to you. And another voice came on the phone, and he said, Hey, Will, how the hell are you, boy? This is Roy. What are you doing in New York City? You need to be down here with us. And they offered to pay for my plane trip down here. And that's how I got to Nashville. And, and to, you know, to get to know him just a little bit, you know, and hang with him a little bit, go out to his house. He had this amazing house on uh, Old Hickory Lake. His uh, glass door, uh, his kitchen looked down into Johnny Cash's backyard. And uh, it w I can't tell you what kind of validation that was, you know, for a beginning songwriter, somebody, you know, just, you know, coming down here for the first time, trying to figure out who, you know, who I was and if I fit in, to have that kind of validation made all the difference in the world. And um, I think that, you know, that, that's one reason I love to write with new artists myself, uh, new, new writers. I like, you know, I like to, because somebody was there for me, I want to be there for them. 